moving, getting a good flow of offense. Uh, what happened there in the in the fourth quarter for you guys? It was different from the first three and a half. Um, they just started executing with force, and uh, we just couldn't hit certain shots, and then turnovers were really uh, crucial for us. We just talk about the turnovers. What have you guys been doing to try to, to limit the mistakes? It seemed like you guys had a handle again for the first three and a half. Uh, was it was it a combination of Boston's picking things up and it kind of played in you know, playing their home place? Was tough to beat? I think for us, it was, they were more self-inflicted. I think we were, uh, especially me, trying to make the right play too quick. That it was just forcing turn. I was like, I throw an easy pass to B.I. behind him. I can't make no pass like that. Stands out about the Celtics team. Obviously, you guys were able to generate a couple double-digit leads, but the things you have to do to kind of stay ahead of that team with what Brown and Tatum are able to do. Um, when we mix up our units, uh, we just got to stay sharp. If, like some units will get out there, they'll be up 15, and other units may come in, and our force may slow down. And I mean, that's the NBA is a game of runs, and you got to give the Celtics their props. They're a great team. But I feel like the mistakes we made were more self-inflicted tonight versus other nights. How much fun is it going back and forth with those guys, especially now they're two guy Tatum? Uh, it's dope. Uh, we was talking about it before the game. Uh, this is a, a dope-ass arena. I mean, playing here and their fan base shows shows them a lot of love. So when you're in an environment like this, you, I mean, your basketball blood can't help but like come out. Curious, you know, Jason's kept in touch with a lot of the Duke guys, especially the younger guys, and him. How has he kind of impacted you? Kind of reached out to you over the years as you've, you know, gotten into the league and you know, even just gone to Duke for the first time. Uh, he's been a great dude. Uh, and that's been since day one. Uh, during the summer, like early in the summer, I want to say during K Academy, before I even, right before my freshman year, uh, he came back, and uh, it was me, JT. Emil Jefferson and um, Cam Reddish, and I mean JT kind of JT and Emil kind of took us around Durham and just showed us the, like the little local spots and stuff like that. So from day one, I mean JT been solid. Is there anything he said to you that kind of stuck with you, or just kind of an experience with him? Uh, <laughs> he said something. I don't, he may he may feel different now because he got some money now, but uh, he said East Campus was the best place he ever lived, and. I agree. East <laughs> Campus at Duke was the, for me, the greatest place I ever lived. Yes, yeah, so, <laughs> uh, bring back a lot of nostalgia and just, I mean, you 17, 18 years old, you had Duke University and you learned it from Coach K. Um, so, for me, yeah, East Campus is still the best place I ever lived. He, it might have changed for him, but I'm curious to know his answer on that. <laughs> Set out a couple of games ago with the, the foot and stuff. But it seemed like you were very fluid tonight, getting where you want to be, getting to your spots. Uh, you know, some ducks in there, some slashes to the hoop. Uh, how comfortable do you feel, you know, physically? And just feel like how close do you feel to where you want to be at, you know, with the you know, latter part of the season? Uh, I feel pretty good right now. Um, for me, I'm just stacking my days. Uh, a slow grind. Um, the team's been a big help with that. Um, and when we, in the season get here, I feel like I'm going to be in an amazing spot for us to really do some real damage in the playoffs. Pretty compete like you did against. But we got to get there first. Let me say that. For you guys to compete the way you did tonight, didn't you get the win? Obviously, uh, what's it say about where this team is at right now and what this group can do? And what you fix the mistakes, fix the good things, and turn over stuff like this? Um, no, we wish we would have came out with the win, but there was a lot of positive we can take away from tonight. I mean, like I said. We were up double digits. We had a chance to win, but a lot of that was on us, self-inflicted. So when things are self-inflicted, I mean, they can be fixed. So I think there's a lot of positives for us to take away from tonight.